Hey everybody, here's this part two of Scruffy McBummer, your guide and insight as to how to play Mountain Blade. Now last time we left off, we were still gathering up our party, and this time we're going to start by going around and getting a bigger army. And how we're going to do that is basically we got to go get a whole bunch of recruits. I do have a decent amount of money, somewhere around 940, not great, but I definitely need more troops. Now, why do I need more troops? If we have a big army, it makes life a lot easier. All right, because I want to get as many people promoted up to Swadian Knights as possible, uh, at least to Man at Arms. If I get a whole bunch of Man at Arms, it is it is game on. I'm going to go probably somewhere around 30, then stop just because it gets prohibitively expensive. Because right now we're about 68 gold, but it'll get expensive when we start upgrading all of our guys. Uh, let's go to here. I want to get out in the middle of these plains, like in this area. Because if I can get these in this plains area, life is easy. Oh, let's check, make sure we got food. Plenty of food, good. Uh, if you need food, it'll be able to support your army. The army, if you have additional food, like different kinds of foods, it'll actually increase your rapport. So if you look at this, right, we didn't talk about a lot about morale. Morale is very good. If you can get a high morale, it means your troops move faster, they attack better, they recover faster, uh, and as well as... It, it increases a lot, so they don't. Freak, it, it, it is good. You want to keep as high morale as possible. An easy way to do that is with food variety, so different kinds of foods, and then building on your leadership skill. And as we add NPCs, we will, we will. It'll actually get a lot easier. Now, why do I keep talking about NPCs? Well, NPCs are non-player characters that we can add to our party. They are a bit expensive, got to be honest, because you have to, ooh, like this guy, right? This is an NPC. <clears throat> and in Mountain Blade, NPCs, there's like, I think, four, ten, like 14 of them throughout the whole game. But some of them are friends to each other, and some of them fight all the time. And let me just put up a little graphic. Yeah. Okay, and I'll make sure to put the link to that graphic. Basically, you just have to make sure that you choose one set. So in this case, there are three uh, nobles on the top and I think, what, five or six that are on the bottom. Basically, if you just make sure to only pick the specific NPCs that are noted, you'll be fine. So in this case, I... So as I was saying, just make sure you pick a set that you're happy with. I like to have a lot more nobles in my team, because if you have a ton of nobles, it makes life easy in the end game. Alright, so I do not have that. Let me go to the marketplace, and let's get some additional food items. Like, this stuff's cheap, right? But it will really help out. I don't want to have too much weight on me right now, because it does slow you down if you have a bunch of weight. So right now I'm going 5.4. If I'd added a whole bunch of like food on top of that, it would have been going really slow. All right, let's get uh, 27. Yeah, let's break it up. Let's get it up to 30. Want at least 30. And the cool part about that is if we can get 30 of these guys every day, there's they'll get these guys gain experience, and that is basically free XP. Cool, that's plenty. 32 is a lot. As you see, my my speed went down a bit. It's 5.2. It was 5.4 just a second ago. And as we level our guys, they will for sure... Oh, oh, oh come on. gotta. This is the one thing that's nice about having a high spotting skill. <laughs> that would be great if I had that. Let's go over here and see if we can keep... Because right now I'm trying to collect all my NPCs. If we can collect at least a couple NPCs... As they level, they also have skills like my character, like this, this, this. I can have one specialized in tactics, one in spotting, one that's really good with wounds or engineering. Because your main character cannot do every skill unless you cheat. But if you cheat, well, then what the hell's the point, right? Uh, so you have to get your NPCs somewhat quick, so that way, at least as much as you can. Every time I go by a capital city, 
I'm looking for NPCs, and I want to get start collecting my crew. Now, m make sure you have money, because they get wicked expensive. Because you got to drop, like, three or 400 gold immediately. Uh, also, again, I continually say, don't let your character die. If your character dies and gets taken hostage, <laughs> then bad stuff can happen. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. It's a trap! There we go, there's one. Oh. Just kind of shimmy around. There we go, hey, look at that. Sons of bitches. At least I got a little bit of gold for out of the deal, but man, those always suck. Guess someone didn't like me. Alright, usually, sometimes if they're not down here, they could be upstairs. Hmm. Sometimes. Mostly. Hmm. Anyway, they're not. That was pretty lame. I can't believe that guy, like, came at me. You came at me, bruh. He came at me. Let's go check in the Rodox. See, the nice part is I got time. I can't find any freaking looters, but... Ooh, ooh, see? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, the Rodox are fighting each other. That's... The Rodox and the Swadians are fighting. This could be interesting. This could be interesting. Ooh, Mountain Bandits. 5.6, 5.2. They're gonna beat me. There's no way I can be catch them. Gotta find me some looters or something. Where'd it go? Darium, for sure. Let's keep looking around in Swadia. There should be looters, man. What the hell? Well, that's the bitch about having a really, really shitty spotting skill. Spotting allows basically the radius around your guy to see parties. And it's like, yeah, I can see there's a little tracking party of 10 here, but whoop de damn doesn't tell me much, at least yet. Uh, as you kind of level up, you'll start to see a little war party there. Doesn't mean much to us right now, since we are s pretty much worthless to anybody. Uh, do I not have a training skill yet? Ah, balls. I don't have training yet. Training is... Oh, 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 I could. Shit. What am I doing? There we go. Wound management and surgery. Again, wound management and surgery. It means my troops will, will heal themselves 60% faster. And now I have a 12% chance that if they go down, they're not going to be killed, which is great. There we go. Always in the freaking dark around here. Oh, yeah, at least I didn't get screwed this time. Lestat, do I want him? Nope. I, ooh, do I? Yeah. Mothed, Artemar, Borcha, Rolf. I do want him. Hello, buddy. You are my buddy. What's up, buddy? It's a pal? Four hundred. Ooh, he's expensive. He better start making me some money. Killer part about these guys is, as you see, he's actually a dude. And he has skills. So he actually is contributing for training right now to the party, which is spectacular. And he's got wound management and a little bit more leadership. So as you see, Lestat, oh, come on, Lestat, you should be totally hooking me up with some goodness there. Bastard. All right, let's keep going. I swear I got to find some freaking looters here. This is getting ridiculous. Aha, see, we're getting our first training. Nice. Oof. God, I'm running out of money fast. We need to find some looters and start killing people. I know that sounds bad, but I got about two weeks worth of... You know, plenty of food, but I got I to gotta find some people to kill. I think most of them are running away from me, too. Yep. Yep. Uh, make a deal. I'll just uh, stop this and wait until we get to the next battle. Then we'll start it up. All right. Finally, I've found some looters here. 
We're going just a little faster than them. 3.2 to 3.4. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yes. Charge that enemy, baby. All right, so let's hold them back. There we go. Get them a nice big line. Get some shots in there. All right, those guys are getting messed up. Now charge them. The hell? There, finally, the guy goes down. Yeah, Scruffy McBummer. All right, we need some. Ugh, I just don't want to upgrade my guys because it's like it's all my it's a ton of money. So this is the point where we start grabbing all this crap gear that I would never ever take, but we gotta take it to start selling it, which is really sad. Maybe my other guy needs it. Okay, so we got a little bit of the cash. Let's check our party. Let's check our buddy here. Let me see your equipment. Now, here's his equipment, right? He's got jack frick all. 26, 29. Yeah, I'll take that. And then he needs a little hat. He could use a horse, too, but those are expensive. I don't have access to one of those quite yet. All right. I can upgrade a couple, but I don't want to be totally out of money. Damn it! That's the bitch about it, guys, is you have to really watch your money. Now, if I wanted to, I could assault one of these caravans and totally take all their stuff. <laughs> but that's uh, that's something that kind of can get tough. Oh, 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 hello. You get ten looters. They come in. Command looters. This is the nice part of being faster. It's not great. It's not spectacular, but it's faster. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good. I want them all to myself. All to myself. There they go over the berm there. This is why I like my shootings. <coughs> oh, yeah, right in the leg. He was an adventurer until he caught an arrow in his knee. Oh, -ho. see what he did there? Sneaky. Headshot. Oh, thought I hit my own guy. Okay, you're going down, mother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what the? Oh. Let's see ya. That guy got pretty close. Pretty close. Oh, man, we need to do a lot more. We need some Skrill. Yeah, I hear you guys, but I don't have any Skrill to be able to do that. Oh, I guess that's the one negative to going so big so quick. Should have done like a little bit less. Now I have to hold a bunch of regular troops. Sell the junk. Ooh, 23. Ooh, ooh. Okay, 120. Let's get some more recruits. Okay, so we got plenty more. And then two more Swedians. Great. Still got enough. I like to keep two weeks worth of cash on me just because. It just it never works out that way. It never works out well if you don't have enough cash. Because if you don't have cash, then they disperse and you lose pretty much all the work you just put in. Which is stupid. Okay, so I'll uh, get back to you guys when I find another group of guys. And here we are, another group. It's not that entertaining because these guys are so easy. But this is what you have to do in order to really get started. You just got to kill a whole bunch of these shitty looters. But you just keep doing it over and over. I want to get at least my guys upgraded to footmen. As soon as you get upgraded to footmen, then I have a chance against the Sea Raiders. The sea Raiders are where we start making some real money. 
can't believe I didn't get any freaking cash out of that or some. Oh, come on. There, there's a proficiency point. There's a headshot. Come on. Oh, yeah. You like it when I, when I pierce you. Like it. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, you see what that did? That that Swadian Knight got knocked out rather than a red. If it was red, that would mean that he's dead. And we no longer have access to that guy. That would be bad. But I can deal with one Swadia guy kind of going down a bit. All right, so there's some that this is all crap i hate having to take all this junk but yeah, that's what we got to do in order to make money okay so as soon as these guys get upgraded to at least footmen i got a chance can i sell stuff to you guys nope i have wait i got enough i got plenty okay all right, um, let's go back to Suno. All right, wait until the next time. All right, so a Jarl just went ahead and started engaging an enemy. So we're gonna go ahead and help them. Really what it just means is free experience and a little bit of reputation, which isn't too bad. So you use your troops to point you in the direction the looters are going to be in, or the NPCs, because they'll always make a beeline to each other. Wow, these guys have a little bit going for them. Oh, these are forest bandits, that's why. Ooh, these guys might actually have some decent gear on them. Ooh, good experience, too. Seems to be all right if I had decent. Oh, see, one of my Swedian recruits got killed. That red there. You gotta expect that in the early game. It's just gonna happen. Nice. Ooh, hopefully, I get some stuff that drops. If you have really high looting skill. <laughs> Then every once in a while you get some good stuff, but not this time. Ooh. They still got a little upgrade. Can't, can't look a gift horse in the mouth on that one. And our character boosted again. Alright, two skill points. Uh, we want to put this into pathfinding and spotting. Give us a little bit more ability to move on the map faster. We were at 5-4 last time we were moving. And we're still at 5-4. But at least it's going in the right direction, right? I can definitely see more things, which is nice. Now we are actually going to be searching out for... I wish I could start doing mountain bandits, but i got to be able to catch them. So in order to get that... Yeah, it's a bitch. Oh, that'd be nice, but I don't have that ability. How much for a lame horse? Just like a cheap horse. Shit, that's a lot of dough. We need some squirrel. We need it bad. Alright, wait back until I get myself into another battle here. Shouldn't be too long, I hope. So guys, what I'm doing for a little bit of money, because we need cash is uh, 300 dinar would be great. We have to go hunt down some guy and kill him. Basically, we have to go to this place, kill a dude. And it's good to get faction, too. Now, if I don't know where the hell that is, you can always go to notes, locations, and Blali. Hopefully it's somewhat close. Nope, not looking good. Nope, not looking pretty far. Dear Christ. I always have to send you halfway around the damn world just to get somebody. But it's 300 gold, or 300 dinars, if we kill the guy. That's a lot of dough. Basically, it's another NPC.
and keeps our guys going for a while. Ooh. All right, we got enough food to go for a while. Hopefully, we'll run into some guys on the way so we can get some cash. So, oh, 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 there's some forest bandits. And is it five, five one, and a five? Oh, hell yeah! I know where you're going. I am not going to miss you just because it's dark. Hey. hey. See, the Final Fantasy, like, chase music always comes to my head when we're doing this, guys. Oh, ho, ho. congratulations. I found a little something, something, Freya. I don't want to go at night. I'd rather attack you during the day, so I'm going to do little circles around you and corral you out of here. Oh, we need to kill some freaking people quick. These guys are going to hell down. Uh oh, looks like the Rodox took a castle. Uh, well, let's see how it goes. Come on! Yes! Okay, definitely for these guys. Hold back, your guys, because I have a whole bunch of folks that have crossbows. See, all the militiamen have crossbows. Are those, uh. Yeah, militias have crossbows. All my. Yeah, good, good. Good. Come closer. Oh, wow. Already at it. I'm out. This is ideal. Just sit back and let them kind of do their thing. All right, we got a nice little shooting into the mass of folks there. Come on, shooting into the fucking mass, but I can't hit shit. There we go. There we go. Nice. Charge. Some dude's got my freaking number. Let's see, I can pop a headshot. There we go. Oh no, one of my dudes was killed. Not too bad. This early in the game, you really have to anticipate. Alright, let's see if I can just do this the old fashioned way. What? Oh, come on. There we go. Frick me. I wish I had a little bit more reach. Oh, look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. A little leg, leg armor, too. Best part is these things are going to sell for a lot. Ooh. Ooh. All right. That's the money right there. Uh-oh, my boy got messed up a bit. Let's see your equipment, buddy. What do you got? There we go. Little black hood thing. We're 16 for some reason. That's exceptionally better. Oh, golly. Do I want to give him that? No, because I want the money. Sorry, buddy. You're in the shit gear for a while. <laughs> Alright, that's a score. We're going to go back and sell this gear. Get some cash and keep looking for forest bandits. See? Pretty entertaining, huh? Be right back. More looters. Yep, more looters for the for the pouring ears. Alright, so we got here. Come on! There we go. There we go. Ooh, lucky. And they're getting stuck in the meat grinder. There we go. 
Little things, guys. Just gotta keep plowing loots. And if you find the forest bandits, then good, good. But uh, chances are pretty low right now of finding forest bandits. All right, and just to finish this guy out, we're here in Bolani to find that one guy that we're supposed to be looking for. Uh, normally, when you gotta go look for one of these, oh, Jesus, already. Want to get rid of the guy with the frickin' javelins first. Damn, taking some shots there. Hmm. Alright. Alright, anyway, back to go to the village center. For some reason, people really don't like me, huh? Alright, normally this guy is somewhere on the outside. So you gotta check the outside of the buildings, and you'll see the guy that says, Ooh, very nervous guy, nervous man. That's what it'll say. <laughs> Designation of nervous man. Because he knows I'm coming for him. He knows that the death is not swift, but painful. <laughs> Village elder, that's not going to be too much help. The frick, I was just over here. Did you guys did not see something that I didn't see, or am I just being dumb? Come on, where's Nervous Man? Bullshit. I should definitely see Nervous Man somewhere around here. Unless I drove by him like twice now and you guys are like, Bro, seriously, the fuck? Why didn't you just double check my shit here? Track down to merit. Yeah, okay, it's so the right place. Okay. Let's wait till maybe midday or something. Okay, early morning. Go to the village center. Alright, I got some people out now. Now I'm just looking for the one guy who's not the elder and not walking around. Maybe he was sleeping. Maybe he was having a dream. Maybe he was thinking about you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe he has a YouTube channel. And he's a nervous man, and he does like webcasts and stuff. No? Alright. What the frick? Where are you walking to, lady? Is there some frickin' place where I'm not looking? What the hell are you doing? Ugh. It should be some dude. Villager. Villager, villager. Oh, the entertainment value is, is off the st off the charts. You guys just can't contain your excitement. You're like, oh my gods. This is the hottest bit of YouTube ever. Can't keep my pants on for this one. Got to get the lube and the flashlight out. All right, let's see what we got here. <sighs> okay, I'm calling bullshit on this. I'm 
definitely bullshit. Unless... Nope, thought he'd be down here. Let's see if we can ask somebody. Oh, wait. There's like an outhouse up there. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. It's a good thing I went and... I don't see that guy moving. Oh, oh mister, you like a shit. You like to take a big shit. Okay. Gotta get moving. In case of this guy, I'm just going to be patting him. There we go. Let's see if I can get any of his gear. I guess not. Man, he put a hurt on, that's for sure. Now the bitch is trying to find that count so we can get some some cash. Because God knows where I can find him. Anyway, I'm going to call it there, guys. <laughs> Uh, like, con, subscribe, whatever. If you made it this far, let me know how I did. I know this is kind of a long one, but, you know, Mountain Blade is one of those games where you're going to play endless amounts, amounts of it. It'll go and go and go as long as you can. So I hope this was fun and informative, and I shall talk to you guys later.